Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. This is part two of the uh, 2011 Mazda CX-9 detail. Part one was just showing you before. This is part two and this is the after. I have literally spent a solid seven to eight hours on this, <laughs> on this vehicle. This is my wife's car. She's had it for years and years and years she's she's had it, she had it for years before me and we've been together four years ish so it was it was filthy uh it is for sale so if you're interested in a solid used car that will go wherever you want it to go um it's got 165,000 miles on it it runs great shifts great i changed the oil meticulously um, i'm all about the oil changes and the maintenance i'm huge on maintenance um, as you probably know from my detailing stuff so uh, as far as this vehicle goes i did a full interior i didn't gut it um, it wasn't worth that to me uh, as far as doing all that the only thing i, I definitely have to do left is the touch-up paint uh, which I will do. Uh, in fact, hang tight. Let me get that done. Then we'll, we'll I'll show you uh, what I've done as far as detailing. All right. So false, false alarm. I'm actually going to do the touch up later on because the wife has my van and I picked up the touch up paint earlier today with the van and the touch up paint's in the van. She won't be here for a while. I'm done with this detail. I need to get this video done published and over so i can get this thing sold so i'm going to go ahead and give you the walk around without the touch-up paint um no big deal it's all clean uh, and it looks fantastic believe it or not so here we go all right here's the outside now i did a heavy decontamination on this vehicle uh, as you noticed from part one this thing had mold and mildew everywhere um we well, I didn't wash the thing. She didn't wash the thing. And so it was just a spare car that we had. And so it got used probably a couple times a week to take the kids to school or to go to the grocery store or whatever. But she's generally with me. So um, this is where we're at. Car looks awesome. Nice and glossy. I did restore the headlights. I sanded them down with 2000 grit and then I just polished them out and threw some Super 7 on, on top. Uh, I'm not really worried about uh, longevity, again, because we're selling this car, but we wanted it to look good for the new owner and be more attractive to sell, obviously. So um, it's got new tires on it. It's got a new battery in it. It's got a new uh, driver window uh, motor passenger window motor um i fixed the driver window track it was a little off so it's proper now um bunch of new parts uh regular oil changes like i said and uh fresh headlights uh new tires uh brand new brakes literally i ripped them apart the other day and replaced all of the pads um the rotors are still good so i didn't bother with those i did have them turned um, so i had the rotors turned put on new brand new pads uh, and that kind of thing so the brakes are good it is missing one center cap ten dollars on ebay it does have a crack in the windshield uh, the windshield is $330 at Safe Light. I did treat all the trim with just transform dressing. Um, I cleaned the wheels. Uh, I got all in the barrels and everything. I cleaned all the brake dust out. My new hull brightener for the Marine Series is an amazing uh, wheel cleaner acid uh, diluted 50-50. It works awesome, uh, especially on factory wheels. And that kind of thing i would not use them on really high-end wheels i would use them on factory finishes and wheels that you know you never want to use acid on on something you're worried about damaging and usually higher end wheels get cleaned often enough where they don't have any caked on uh brake dust anyway but uh factory wheels and uh other 
clear coated wheels uh, are fine with that stuff. Um, I didn't do a lot with the tailpipes, but they look good. This does have the tow package. Um, see where I need to touch up a couple spots. So I have the touch up, I'll be doing that. It does have a backup camera. It does have a working uh, moonroof and that kind of thing. But I just wanted to show you guys the outside first. She looks great. Roof looks awesome. Now for the inside. Now, just keep in mind, it's got 165,000 miles and we have four kids. So, door panels look awesome, all clean. Got all the leather all nice and clean. Um, no spills or anything in here, uh, but again, four kids for years. I got it nice and clean. You can see it looks great. Um, the leather is worn, but no rips or tears. Still functionally nice. Um, what else? I got everything fixed oh there's one piece i had the the check engine light is on there's a code uh back when i first met tony i noticed the check engine light was on so i took it to AutoZone. the code is just for an emissions piece that literally doesn't matter either way uh this thing gets awesome gas mileage without it uh that piece is 109 dollars uh, if you want the check engine light not to be on um, all the Google searches and the mod Mazda dealer said it's not gonna hurt anything Not to replace that thing, but you can if you want that's uh, like I said hundred and nine dollars for that um, Between the 331 for the windshield the hundred and nine dollars for that emissions um, deal um, And the center cap you're looking at I don't know, maybe needing to spend four, maybe 500 total. Um, I don't have any issues with working that into the price. Uh, NADA value on this 2011 Mazda CX-9 Grand Touring with a sunroof at 165,000 miles is $7,550. That's NADA. I'm looking to get as close to that as possible. Uh, it's hard to find a used car that's still got a lot of life left and still is good and has good value uh, like this. It's tough to find right now, especially with COVID. Uh, if you're looking for a good solid car, this is it. Door panels, nice and clean. Leather, nice and clean, but have a few stains here and there. It's not a perfect system. Like I said, we have kids. Uh, I shampooed all the carpets. I shampooed all the floor mats. I put them back in here. I also run my ozone generator for two hours in this thing today. Um, there are some stains on the back seats. It's dye transfer from whatever the kids had on. Unfortunately, I can't get it out without damaging the leather. Uh, if you wanted to, I guess you could have it dyed. I don't know that it's worth all that. Um, the rear seats do move forward and back. Uh, they're on a track you can see there and uh, Everything's clean. I uh, cleaned the headliner. It's still got some spots on it You don't want to go too crazy on the headliner just because uh, You don't want to get it too wet Potentially you could damage it. I cleaned all the jams and stuff. Everything's all nice and good um, If you follow me on Facebook, you will have seen the other day um I posted a picture of the engine bay detail. Show you that real quick. Engine bay looks awesome. Uh, the battery, five of 19. So it's still got at least half its life or more left. It's a good Duracell battery uh, from Sam's Club. But notice everything is good. Ice cold AC, ice cold AC heat works. Everything works. Everything works. All right. Oh, um, it is also missing this vent. Um, the air comes out. It's just obviously this actually 
moves the air where you want it. This is uh, the adjustment. Um, the air comes out of there. Uh, I don't know what happened to that vent. It was gone before, before me. <laughs> so no clue. I'm sure you can find it on eBay. I'm not going to bother with it. I've got to touch up some chips on the edge of the doors and that kind of thing. But other, other than that, um, little issue here. The clips are broken. No biggie. Just a little bit. I got to touch up a spot there. But overall, it's in great shape. Uh, I wouldn't even have a problem taking this thing to California right now from Tampa. It's a great car, guys. So, 2011 Mazda CX-9 Grand Touring. That's the part two detail. Shampooed and cleaned everything on the inside and on the outside. You can see how amazing it is. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. If you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Uh, if you're interested in this car, we're, we're asking 7,500 bucks. Um, obviously, pretty much everything in life is negotiable. You show me some cash, we can talk. No test drives without cash in hand because I ain't got time for none of that drama. So thank you for watching. And check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Thanks again, guys, for watching. And if you want this thing, let me know. Have a great day.